Coming into Michigan State, I was recruited as a middle infielder, mostly shortstop. I had ulnar nerve transposition in my elbow and my throwing arm. Every time I would throw, my hand would go numb and my forearm would burn. After my sophomore year, I started playing the outfield. It's really tough to change positions, especially at this level. And middle infield is more explosive um, and change of direction. And she has a crazy arm angle to try to get that ball to first from the shortstop position. I really just will do anything and play any position for the team and to have the best success that, that we can have. Knowing that like I do have the athletic ability to play anywhere and not being selfish and thinking that I'm only gonna play short or I'm only gonna play one position. Like I wanna do anything in my power to give the team the success that we need and with that comes taking on like any role that that is handed to you and like I'm not ever one to like stray away from something new. This kid has a cannon, so you could kind of tell that <laughs> she is a good outfielder because she can throw it from the fence to home plate and still beat a girl, still get her out. That one strokes right to left field, diving and making the catch out there. What's your day, Wash? Junior year, I ended up tearing my Liz Frank ligaments, and those are the three ligaments that hold like the arch of your foot together. It was like a nine to a year recovery time. So that was extremely hard. Just knowing that we didn't even get into Big Ten play yet and not being able to play, it was extremely hard because like you really do take pride in your athletics. She definitely struggled mentally. Second year in a row being away from the sport for an extended period of time, more than just a regular like ankle sprain, foot sprain, where you're still around your team and you're able to do some things, but her identity was a student athlete. And when that was kind of taken away from her, you can tell that she struggled mentally. I definitely internalized a lot of things. It was really hard. I'm not really one to like talk about my feelings. So having to open up about my experiences and like what I was going through at that time was really hard. Having back-to-back season-ending injuries like that, especially with COVID in between, it must have been really, really hard for her. We kind of had to teach her how to walk again, how to absorb weight in that foot to be able to do all the things that she's going to gear up to do, and then progressing her back to just regular physical activity and then eventually being a D1 softball player. There are kids you can tell right away that are very hard workers, and she was not one of the student athletes that I really had to hound to do rehab. She's always like, what can I do? What's next? How can I get back on the field? She was really internally motivated, intrinsically. I have been a starter, I've been a bench player, I've been someone that is called off the bench for one at bat a game. Knowing that you still have to be that supportive team member and, and be there for your team just like they are for you when you are hurt is really interesting because you really do see another side of the game and like from an outside perspective. And you respect the game more because you don't take practices, weights, and all that stuff for granted. So I feel like that really helped me become like the player that I am today and like wanting to be at practice every day and not thinking that I have to do something but I get to do something is is what I really like took out of it. With the 2-2, she absolutely hits a bomb. Everybody will just turn and watch. Knowing that you only have four or five years to play your sport and and having those things happen so early in my career, I just really wanted to end on a high note and what really pushed me was knowing that our program is going in the right direction. I really wanted to be a part of that change. I mean, I've been here for five years. Like, I want this program to, to build and like, be stronger and, and have the success that it deserves.